Hey, what is up, everybody? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Genics, coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. I do want to talk to you about three things when it comes to email marketing that might help you get more conversions. people get hung up on the craziest stuff and I am no exception to that rule uh, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story about something that happened to me a few years ago I was in a thrift store right and I found this hat uh, this do not disturb hat at the time it was it was like brand new sitting in this thrift store and it was like a buck or two I don't remember how much but I was like looking at this hat and I was thinking I love that hat uh, since that time I in the last two or three years I have recorded over 600 videos wearing this hat and the more videos I recorded wearing this hat the more valuable this hat became to me. Like, it kind of developed this weird superstitious quality. I started seeing this hat fall apart. I started seeing it get old and beat up and, you know, it was falling apart. And I started, like, getting weird about it. I started getting, like, I need this hat. It's part of, like, my video thing. It's part of what I do, you know? <coughs> and I started only wearing this hat when I shot videos because I was trying to protect the hat, you know? It, it was very, you know, stupid, man. You know, it's like a weird superstition. But I was thinking this hat was very important. Like, it was some kind of iconic thing that I had to protect. It was really weird. But it started out just as a dumb hat that I found in the thrift store. Here's the thing. Superstitions are meant to be broken. Fears are meant to be faced. That's just the way it is. You're going to have to break your superstitions and you're going to have to face your fears. So today, I found an heir to the throne, off with the old hat, on with the new hat. This hat has a story also. I just bought it today. I don't like the Boston Red Sox. I am a major fan of the TV reality show Survivor. And my favorite player, and dare I say, the best player to ever play the game of Survivor was one Boston Rob. Outwit, outlast, outplay. He was the best there ever has been that I've seen, and I've seen almost all the seasons. So, this hat is an ode to Boston Rob and to the game that I love, Survivor, and it's a reminder to me to always push my hardest always do the absolute best that I can and in this game of internet marketing outwit outlast outplay boom welcome to Ellis Park these three things I want to give you when it comes to email marketing that will help you convert, I want to focus on sales pages. Like the products that you're going to be promoting out there, I want you to really, uh, I want to focus on the anatomy of the sales pages, okay? I want you to look at the sales pages. We're going to be drawing content from the sales pages for these three tips, okay? The first tip when it comes to email marketing that's going to help you convert is um, the headline on the sales page. Usually headlines on sales pages are really good. Uh, people go out of the way to make them good, you know. The headline is supposed to really pull people in and make them interested in the product. Well guess what, that's the same thing that your email subject line is supposed to do. So. I'm not telling you to go out and copy word for word the headline. What I am telling you is you can very closely mimic 
the headline. For your subject line, the product vendor's not gonna care. You're helping him. He wants to push as many units as possible. And if you copying his headline for your subject line helps him do that, he's cool with it, trust me. There was three turtles sitting on this skid in the middle of this little lake. And two of them jumped off as I walked up. This is a brave little dude right here. There he goes, he just jumped off. Tip two, all marketers have a story. Usually their stories end up on the sales page. It's something that's just, it's part of the sales page. Give the customer or the prospect some background on you and what you're about, how you ended up creating this product. That's sales page 101. Usually a marketer's story ends up on the sales page. Well, guess what? That marketer's story, it's pretty much a case study. So you can take the marketer's story from the sales page, kind of like position that as a case study and put it as an email, right? And that becomes the content in your email. And by doing this, you shift the focus from the product that you're trying to promote to the product creator. Now you're teaching something. You're telling them a story about a product vendor. You're telling them a story about a person. You're not just trying to push a product at them, right? So this kind of case study uh, formula works really, really well. And most sales pages have marketer stories on them. So it works out really, really good. Again, I'm not telling you to word for word, cop, cut and paste the sales page. What I am telling you is the story is there. Put it in your own words. Tell the story about the marketer, okay? Tell the story about the product creator, okay? And that kind of becomes a case study in your email. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about is features and benefits. Generally, you know, the way you uh, get people interested in something or uh, kind of help them realize that they actually need something is by explaining the benefits, you know, the benefits of something. Hey, get this so you can do this, right? It's the so you can do this that really makes people connect the dots and want to pick something up. They don't care, you know, if the washing machine you know, has a double rinse cycle uh, and that the washing machine doesn't have an aggregator in the middle or whatever you call that thing. They don't care about that. What they care about is that like, hey, this double rinse cycle is gonna allow you to get your clothes super clean, twice as clean as your old washing machine. And also it's gonna be, a, not, not having this agitator in the middle uh, is going to uh, allow you to be a lot less rough on your clothes, which means they're going to last a lot longer, right? Those are kind of like benefits.